was looking for a Red School event, but I couldn't find it there. Peace, fam. What's going on? Peace, peace. Yo, so, 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 so we here. Yes, indeed, Glad to be man. able to actually have you on uh, the camera, fam. You know Cause we know each other for a minute. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, for the folks that may not know, uh, what's your name, fam? My name is Lemus, and G Lemus. That's right. Don't forget the G. Some people call me Gleemus. <laughs> what's up with that? But yeah, it's G Lemus. All right, up, all right, up. So now, uh, so, so, because what you what you just did is amazing. How long did it take you? <laughs> to come up with that stuff because there's so much in there yeah it is you know what i'm saying i remember when i saw you i think it was redefined it might have been like the first time yeah and then you did those crazy pieces like on the records oh yeah 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 you know what i'm saying yeah. so now where did all that come from <laughs> it, you, to be honest with you it's more like uh it's, it's me tapping into my roots you know as far as how I grew up, right. some of the things that I grew up on, yeah. you know, materials, vinyl, or CDs, tape, you know, cassette tapes, the whole nine, uh, and try to mix it in into into like a motif. You know? So, yeah. yeah. So, so kind of, I mean, if you can, try to describe your style for people that may not know. You know what I mean? Like, hmm. like I said, there's a lot. Literally, there's a lot of layers, and figuratively, there's a lot of layers. Yeah, there you know is. What I'm saying? Like, mixed media doesn't kind of yeah, it's weird. Oh, you know, I, I try to, you know, I, I went to the Van Gogh Museum. Mm -hmm. I took a trip to Europe and uh, I saw Van Gogh's original pieces. And I was struck by the impressionism, you know what I mean? The way that he uses brush strokes. Ever since then, I'm like, man, how do I replicate that? But more in a modern sense. So that's where the, the cans came in. I grew up around a bunch of graffiti writers. I'm, I'm from I'm from Miami, so you know cats out there. That's what they did. But I got so much respect for that style that I, for a while, I did not want to even touch it. I'm like, if I'm not doing fonts, I ain't messing with it. But once I get up with these dudes, you know, laughing in the background, B side. To be honest with you, swarming them made me grow that kind of strength within myself to go ahead and say, you know what, I can do whatever I want. I can use any material I want. I can use doodle in my paintings if I want to. Well, I, I ain't going to say that I use doodle. I'm just, I'm just saying, figuratively, like, I can use anything I want. And ever since, you know, it's been, it's been, it's been sort of like a battle within the art world for me to control it. Because there is a lot going on within my world. So I'm like, since, since, you know, when you look at the artwork, you see these floating mountains. These, these islands. And this is like a random thought. Within that same thought, I'll think about revolution, cornflakes, um, you know, the last time I heard, you know, a Jay Dilla album, you know what I'm saying, to like, man, I wish there was more reggae played on the, on the, you know, so I'm like, you know, all those questions, even politics, even, even you know, some of the, you know, these, these things that, are, that remain dormant that a lot of people don't want to necessarily just talk about on a daily basis. So, it's a lot of content, so I'm like, the only way to, for me to release it is if I use figures, pictures, even objects. And at the same time, I use the loud colors to draw you in. It draws you in, but at the same time, there's a whole lot that's going on in there. And I don't mean it, you know what I mean? It's, it's just, that's just the way it comes, comes out. out. So now, do you, so do you pre-plan stuff? Or, I mean, because I saw you had like a, a little mock-up. Yeah, I did. I, I wanted to have a, I was on, kind, of, kind of like my little cheat sheet, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I draw a lot, so I couldn't help myself by just thinking like, how am I gonna make sure that I fit everything in? But once I got into it, like I felt like I was like, all right, let me let me freestyle a couple of things, you know. That that just gives me an an idea where I'm going. I don't want to go on a path without a, without a map, you know. I watched a lot of Zelda when I was growing up, so you got to get your map, you know. And once once you get into it, you know, it's just the it's just the rhythm of how how the the drawing will talk to you and just. Take it from there. Right, right. Yeah. So now, so you mentioned all these kind of random thoughts. Is there some sort of influence, like definitely that? Just, I mean, because you, you just mentioned a whole lot of different like yeah. inputs that come into your brain. Where? Is there some like sort of greater influence that kind of around Huge. that? That what is that? You know, I I looked up to. I don't look up to musicians. I don't look. I mean, I do listen to a lot of cats. You know, I don't get it twisted. I love hip-hop, I love reggae music, I love any kind of music. I, this morning, just coming in here, I was listening to Ray Charles, you know? But 
I think that our real heroes, they died, you know, a while, and you barely hear them talk. So now what I'm trying to do is talk up with my figures. I'm trying to give you, you know, subliminal things that are going in the dormant, like I said, in, in everyday people. They, they go through this, you know, this process of seeing things, you know, but they don't necessarily want to really tap into it. So, you know, I looked up to cats like, you know, you know, some of the figures that we know, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, the plight of, of you know what I'm saying, racism in America, things that people don't want to tap on. Those are the things I grew up on on a daily basis. Matter of fact, the way I got in the art game was I got rejected from the classroom. So I was sitting back at a class and all I would do is just draw. When the cats in the back, all they did want to do is just either rap or, you know what I'm saying, which was the public enemy, you know what I'm saying, CD that just came out, or well, tape that just came out. To, uh, to just politics, that politics that a lot of people will not really get into. Like within, you know, just, I'm not really gonna get into, that's another topic, but still though, you know, there's things, you know what I mean, that that um, a lot of people don't really wanna, wanna touch. Mm -hmm. So I touch them, but yeah, to give you this nice little pretty color to draw you in. So it, it leaves, you know what I mean, a, a mess. See, I'm not, a, I can't say that as a message, but I'll say more of a, a little residue of some kind of wisdom in there. You'd be like, wait a minute, what was that all about? So it makes you kind of like snap out a little bit if I could, right. you know, so, yeah. So now talk about your experience in the Orlando scene, because you mentioned B-Side, you know what I mean? Because uh, let's talk about your, 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 your experiences. It's been a roller coaster ride, dog. Right. It's like, when I first got, got in the scene, I was getting the same way in the classroom. I was getting kicked out of places with me just trying to paint. Yeah. Yeah, so not until I met up with, with Swaminam, that's when I felt like I got more of a recognition, like, okay, this cat, he's cool, let's let's do something together, together. But um, at first, Orlando Senior, it was very cliquish. Nobody was opening up, no, you know, no corporate groups were coming in to try to find talent. So right now, it's different. Right now, you know, all the cities around the United States are now jumping on the on the bandwagon of having urban art mm. to decorate their buildings. Yeah. So now we're cool, you know what I'm saying? Now all of a sudden we're not. The same dudes that they locked up mm. back in the days are the same dudes that they're asking to do murals on the side of the building. Yeah. So it's weird. I'm not 100% comfortable with it. Yeah. That's why I'm looking into other places. Because mm. no matter where you go and where other city you go, there's poor people. Mm. And my art is more, it's more about everyday people. It's, if a rich guy buys it, great, I'm not against it. But to be honest with you, I'm more, I'm more of a, there's a movement that I'm being a part of and I feel like I have a, you know, kind of convictions, you know, to this, to this movement, you know. You know, that's, that's where I'm at right now. All right, all right. Yeah. Now, uh, let's talk about uh, this, uh this cube object, this 3D object. It's cube. You know what I'm saying now? I'm trying because, to put everybody in a cube. Right, because I, <laughs> I don't think you probably had as much of a difficult time as other people. Cause I, like I said, I've seen you do yeah. other pieces, but was there any anything that mm. kind of was like a challenge for you on that? Or trying to get it all done in like <laughs> in, in a few hours. You saw me. I mean, yeah. you, you see me in the back of of the video, and, and I'm like, you know, I'm trying to get it all done. That's that's mainly it. I'm like, all right, I have a lot to say. I want to get it. You know, what I'm saying within that time slot and get all everything to make it look like it's done complete. So that was that was the biggest challenge right there, you know, to make it cohesive, make it flow properly, the colors, so that way it, it says what it's supposed to say, and yeah. Yeah, I mean, so that, did you kind of welcome being able to have more area to tell your story? I mean, a lot of people were like, damn, how am I gonna cover yeah. like three, four sides? <laughs> were you like, yes, three, four sides? Oh my God, man, I mean, I've done murals, so, you know, um, I had to get a little bit more in depth with my, my drawing skills. So for the last two weeks, that's all I've been doing is just drawing, getting into the rhythm of just using, you know what I mean, my drawing skills. And, uh, and you know, it, it brought me right back to the essence of what, what I, you know what I'm saying, what I, how, how I actually got into the art game, which is the drawing. So it really helped me out a lot, man. It was a blessing to get back into it, you know. Dope, dope. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, how can uh, folks reach you? You know what I'm saying? And in physically, because you have a, like a physical spot now, right? I have a physical spot. I got a couple of physical, oh, physical spots. Oh, okay. but Donald Trump. 
No, no, not even, not even. More like gorilla, gorilla oh, okay. status type. Right. You know what I mean on on the DL <laughs> movements. You know, All right. this this art thing is more, man. It's more than just the visuals. A lot of a lot of people. Uh, I know you don't want me to keep talking, but I'm no, gonna keep dude, talking. No, You're gonna hear me. I want you. I want you to tell your whole <laughs> the, story. Uh, That's what we're here for. The the reason I'm trying to get. I feel like you know the more we get into different places is because. Yeah. The first thing that, in, in especially where I'm from, that they took away from us was the, the creative um, courses. Mm. Classes, you know, got shut down instruments. I don't care what it is. If it has to do with, you know what I'm saying, with crafts, gone. They don't want you to express yourself. Yeah. And if you go to any bad part of the city, the first thing that they take away. Mm. You know, all the bad kids, they don't have a way to express themselves. Yeah. And I, and I grew up around that. I know yeah. how it is to be felt like that. So you find me physically, I guess, wherever there is in the need. I feel like an art vigilante. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't feel like you, you can find me in one spot. I'm at the mall. I'm on the street corner. You know what I'm saying? And one day you see me in a fancy ass, you know what I'm saying? Like gallery. But don't get it twisted. It's still gorilla status. Yeah. All right. What <laughs> yeah, up? Man. Now, digitally, how would people be able to find you? Digital, I got the Facebook, the whole social network thing. But... Yeah, it's uh, uh, JermaineLemus.com. All right, spell it for the folks. Huh? Spell it for the folks. It's uh, G-R-M-A-N-L-E-M-U-S.com. All right, yes. word up. Nice, um, nice. Yes. All right, anything else, sir? Like I said, this is your platform. Anything you want to say? For you, for you, for <laughs> what you're doing, I think, I say you, you have to definitely keep doing it for the people, mm. for the kids especially, you know, just keep on elevating and inspiring the kids. You know, because of the youth is really at a crucial state right yeah. now. They they're losing their sense of touch with create creativity and imagination, yeah. and with nature. Yeah. So, our, our our job here locally is to definitely cultivate that. Word. So Word. let's keep doing it. Man. And right, like like you like you right know, elevate ozone. That's there all you I'm go. about. Got to elevate so, it, man. Yes, indeed. Right. Yes. All right, all right. G. Lemus. Yes. Thank you, fam. No doubt. Continue success. You know what I'm saying, and yes. good luck with everything. Anything you need, let me know. Word, All right, fam, we're going to go take these pictures. That's the next thing you need. Yes. We're going to get these pictures done. All right, let's do it. All right, good looking out, fam. One love. Peace, peace, peace. Yeah.